Hey everyone, Van Ham back here with um, Spring Update series on Transport Fever 2. We're episode 5. Kicking along nicely into the series. We're down here. I thought I'd start off at Tick Hill because, <laughs> as I was made aware in the comments below, it's thick. I was saying Thick Hill with T H I C K. I do apologize for that. Uh, the Tick Hill people will be mad at me uh, for calling them Thick, where I should probably be the mayor of Thick Hill. Mayor Thick Hill Hamlet. <laughs> anyway, well, let's crack into the series today. We've got a lot of, uh, we've got a lot to do. As said last time out, we need to get this line up to Little Hampton so we can then establish also our timber, tools, and boards uh, line that sends tools to Little Hampton and Hinkley also. Uh, so that's what we're doing today, and we need to do it ASAP because Little Hampton Forest is on the verge of being abandoned in 146 days. So we need to crack on with that uh, very, very fast. And we are making a little bit of good money. I've paid a little bit back down. We've only got five and a half million left owing, but we're gonna utilize pretty much a lot of that today. I've started clearing a bit of a spot through town, um, but we're gonna have to hit the pause button because I wanna put a station right through the middle here. Okay, uh, so ladies and gents, don't forget if you've got any questions about the update and about uh, anything, just leave it in the comments below and if I don't know the answer, I'm sure we can work towards finding out the answer for you. Um, okay, so I hope uh, I can help you in any way that way. Alright, let's crack on. Okay, we're down here at Little Hampton. This is the town at question that we're gonna put a train station right through the guts, right here. If we bring up this land user layer, we can see that we are having to come right through the middle of residential. It's unavoidable uh, because that's where the residential have been displayed. Now, there's two things we can do. We can cull the residential out and feed them back up here and try and get these guys to grow down around this area. Or we just leave it and we're gonna leave this one I'm not really worried about the residential I'm not too worried about them I think they what you got to worry about is the emissions uh, emissions are shown in red and obviously the higher the emission the more it's less seductive for the AI to build there or to grow uh, and our emissions only affect residential buildings as you can see these are the residential buildings highlighted in a darker color okay so we can have a bit more a look at that later on if you're querying what that's all about but basically your emissions come up here uh, and at the moment our emissions are very good but it can have a negative effect right so bringing products uh, connecting the towns that sort of stuff have positive effects on the town and the town's growth up here and the, the town actually expanding emissions can have a negative effect all right quality of traffic stations um if they're good if they're bad quality they can also have negative effects on the town okay so it can stunt the growth basically first things first let's establish uh, i'm just going straight ham for it uh today i'm actually going to flatten a little bit of land through here also just to give ourselves a nice little level playing field. I don't normally like to use this too much. Uh, now I want to, I want to actually take it from the probably one of the lowest points because we're going to send a tunnel right through there. So we're going to flatten it to about that level. You know that's not too bad. I'll take that. Not going to go too much more. Uh, yeah, I think we'll leave that pretty much like that. Okay, let's get ourselves a train station. Now, this is going to have a cargo terminus in here, but we are going to set up a freight hub today. There's going to be a freight hub over on this side of uh, the map for all these products and to shipping to t uh, Tick Hill if needed be. And there's going to be a freight terminus over here to help with all these guys and to also uh, deliver to these guys also but we are going to put a freight terminus on this passenger on this passenger building in here 
we'll leave it at 240. We're gonna go two for the moment. Uh, do we want 240 or do we want... Uh, yeah, I think we will. We'll take 240. It's very rainy here again. I apologize if that gets very noisy in the background. Um, so we're going to have a terminus on this side with freight. I kind of... Do we want to go any bigger? Maybe 240? Yeah, let's go 240. Let's go about here, okay? Now, the line, I don't know if I'm going to be able to swing it out around this way or if we're going to have to come straight through the guts of town I mean straight through the guts of this mountain which would be quite uh, quite exy I think if we do that I'm trying to avoid hitting the uh, play button here because I don't want to lose this forestry right here uh, that'll be detrimental to us uh, I've already established a couple of truck things in here so we can ship out uh, we may not need this one if I can get basically a road I might have to do these roads I'll redo the roads we'll come back to that but I just don't want to I don't want to hit the play button because I don't want to lose that forestry basically okay let's configure this don't be all over the place ham just get your job done that you gotta get done piece at a time yeah okay it's just exciting <laughs> right we're gonna go a high speed non catenary because we're going to probably run an alco on this again and we're only gonna go one just for a by, it's basically a bypass for the freight, and uh, it's a uh, it's a stop off to bring tools back into town. Okay, and then we'll put a cargo terminal there. Uh, we won't put any down there, but we will put one there. Not really needed, but it's it is it is what it is. We are going to go a. No, we're not going to go like that, I don't think. How do you want to do it then, Ham? Uh, get me my track in first, please. And we can see where we're going to go from there. This one. Don't be on the raise. Keep flat. That's perfect. Can we swing? Okay. And then we're going to have to... I want to run these guys semi-parallel because we are going to run a passenger route out of here also. Uh, yeah, keep it all... Keep it all the same. Keep it all the same. And then what I like to do... Because I want to have a separate freight uh, tunnel to the actual passenger tunnel. We'll do that. And that. And that separates those two tunnels. Now, you can be catenary, but we can fix you later. I'm not really concerned about that. Right, that's our two tunnels running parallel, beautifully next to each other. And they, we get a bit of a different look from both of them then. Okay. Lovely. I don't know how the uh, the plumbing for these buildings go. There's not a lot of uh, not a lot of form work they can get under those buildings. Okay, now the next can be done out this way too. I just want to get this established, get this town sorted. We're actually going to shoot straight down this valley. You can see here. We're going to shoot straight down here and out that way. So let's get uh, that. We want to keep it on the flat. Yeah, I didn't want you running with a catenary. Okay, let's run you about there. Give me a bit of that. I want to have a bit of room in here for, for buildings to grow, I think. If we can get them to grow that way and get a nicer sort of bend. Yeah, okay. Now, employ the same measurements that you did at the other end. Uh, pull it from this way. Yep. Alright, you didn't want to play the game then, did you? That's better. Now, I know that uh, 
this is not catenary, but I can fix that later. It's just to establish that route out of there for the moment. Uh, and I want to get rid of that one because I'm going to run these lines parallel, but separate. Because I like a bit of uh, I like a bit of change up. They don't need to all be joined. Yep, that's perfect. Um, what are you going to do there? Well, we need to have a bridge established over the top. I'm thinking we can go a bridge about, uh, what? One there? No, one here maybe. Hmm, those people have kind of built there a little bit, haven't they? Right, let's just help them out a touch. Okay. Now give me that road. Go up two, maybe? Two is not enough, Ham. Whereas three is. Okay. That also is hopeless. Why you got such a curve there? Right, we might have to just sort of play with this ourselves a touch. Hmm. Can we get you to run, please, mister? Uh, okay, we've got ways of making you talk. We've got ways of making you talk. This is one of them. Yeah, I don't want you to have a bit of a bow in you, though. But I'd be happy to take that and then knock that little bit off the end there. Yes. Sometimes you just got to play around with your, uh... Yeah, okay, I'll accept that just for the moment anyway. Sometimes you just got to play with your bridges a little bit. And that can go there. Perfect. Right. Now what we're actually going to do here is establish a little road. Hopefully I can squeeze one down the side. You're going to be upset at me, buddy. Okay, and that's going to come pretty much like that. Okay, we're going to have to do that. I don't really like the fact that you're not... Yeah, I don't like the fact that you get rid of that bit of bridge. I might have to have a re-go at that and fix. see if I can fix it. Basically, that's going to go around to there. And then what we'll do here, I know I'm spending a lot of money doing this, but I want to get this looking right, ready for the AI. Hopefully we can get the AI to build something in here. Okay. All right, hopefully they build something in there. Uh, whether or not they do in here to fix that up, I'm unaware, I'm unsure. Let's just go this, smooth it out a touch. And then let's fix our bridge. Bridge is looking a little bit weird now. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, see if we can just get a bit of bridge on there. All probably a waste of time, but to me, it's not. This is how I like to play the game. I don't just like to slap things in always. I don't like that hump either. 
Hmm. Yeah, I really don't like that. Are you doing that? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's see if we can make that work for us. That, to me, that's looking a bit better. Don't know about that. Let's fix this. Let's get rid of this. Sorry, people. You're going to have to rebuild. Progress is on the way. And that's what it looks like. That's heaps better. I can live with that. Do we want one over here too? I'll tell you what we can run over here. No, I won't. <laughs> I thought we could run like a bit of a crossing. Ah, but it won't actually let us, will it? In pieces, ham. In pieces. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And now, hook your little... Streets up. Right? Oh, that's possibly terrible. Anyway, we can uh, have a redo on that. Yeesh. Just get rid of that piece. Get that and go like this. Unfortunately, you're going to have a bit of a kink. It's only a road. Bugger him. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? It's just a little like, slow the cars down. Okay, don't let them, don't let them speed up. Speed hump sort of section. Okay, I think we're pretty good there. Next, let's establish... Uh, just give me a couple of more connection points down here for passengers. One there. And one there. Now, I don't, I know I don't need to, but I want to. The other thing we can do is over here. Uh, we can do this platform. So we can actually throw a passenger platform there. We can go subway. Get them a bit of a roof so the uh, subway doesn't flood if it rains. And passenger building. We can throw one of these in, right? Throw one that will sort of fit. So yeah, it's kind of just a little bit off in size, isn't it? Just give them one of these entries. Okay. I'll do that. Right, so that's a passenger entry on this side. So people on this side of town can actually walk in over here. Now the truck stop I'll put in just here. Because uh, the reason why we need a truck stop, we could just throw it out the front here, is because most of our tools and stuff are on this side of town. And so we're going to have to get the freight stuff from this side over to here. Now I could have set it the other way and had passengers on, on this side. Don't want to. I want to do it this way. Okay, let's spin you. We're going to have you about... Ooh, there, are we looking pretty good? Just give it a tiny swivel. Configure, can we get a cargo building on here? Oh, I tell you what, we can just perfectly. We can even get two. Do you want two? Sure. Oh, that's come up a treat. Look how close they are to the line as well. That's actually spot on perfect. You've also got catenary here. Ah, well, leave it. Progress. Okay, and now we need to. We need more money, by the way. So let's get a bit of a street in here. A bit of street access for the people. But that can go to there. And... We'll continue this road straight ahead down here. We need more money. 
I don't want to hit... I, we could just easily hit play, but I don't want to lose that. Oh, not rip. Oh, bro, thanks. Don't want to lose that... that um, that forestry. Uh, this is all coming up really nicely. We just have to put the roads in this side and then connect all these up and then we've got basically ourselves a connection. Okay, they are touched lower down there, but that's okay. How do you want to do that? Like that? No, 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 no. Okay, and then same on this side, please. Like that. Okay. So that should hopefully give the people over here somewhere to walk down to and get themselves set up. Do I want to... We could just run this road. We could run another road down here for connection. And I think we might. We're going to need it for the trucks anyway. But I'll run it from like up there, I think. So we'll run it like... Basically like that. Oh, it's a steep hill up there, isn't it? Let's go there to there if we can. That's a steep hill. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. They got a bit of a drive to get up over there, but that's fine. All right. And then over here, we're going to need a truck stop also. One last truck stop. How do we want to put it in? Uh, let's establish it on the corner. Let's, we don't need to because it's just nothing but aesthetics but I kind of want to give them a little building on the corner here like a little office building okay just like that and that's the drop off for all these tools and stuff over here we can get the uh, we can get the industrial stuff building up over this side of town also right okay so that's pretty oh no we haven't done this yeah you're about to head off with your big explanation and faffing about talking and right just cool your jets just get your stuff in first can we get this all the way along and the answer is a hundred percent that's worked a treat what about down here oh yeah oh you know where this is going <laughs> That's potentially horrible. You spent half your budget on bloody um, this city. You know what? We built this city. We built this city. We built this city to rock and roll. I like a little tunnel just there too. Bit of separation. There's a bit of a bank. Uh, can, I can live with that. Hopefully we can get the AI to uh, grow down here also. You've even got a road out here. Where's that going to connect to? Over there. Right. We could actually cut that in also. Not going to. I'll let the AI do what they want there. Right. On my place, on my... Uh, we might come back. If there's nothing going on and we've got a little bit of money, I might flatten that area. To ma match up with that one. But I think for the time being, we'll leave it. I'll just run this road right here now. Can we not lose a building? Is that a thing? You can if you do this road. Okay. Anywhere else we can go with that. Yeah? But we lose two buildings. I'm okay with that. If you're going to lose two, do you just want to go that? Yeah, okay. All right. They can rebuild something there. But it gives us extra connection to all these places now. Expanding our connection. So that'll look really good, I think, in the end. We've got a nice little bridge the tracks can head into uh, under here. And then we've got nice tunnels leading out and a nice curve. It'll go out here too. Right, let's get this depot, this freight depot over here set up. 
uh, freight. Let's go 2 and 240. Do we want to go 240 or do we want to go 320? Look, 320 is going to be better. But I think at the moment, we'll just go 240. Now, we, we are going to send the passenger route up and it's going to bypass this, but we can fix that later. Uh, and we want to head basically that way from about here. That truck stop might be null and void. By the time we get this in, this is going to service. We want to run it through here, maybe. No, on the outside, it's all right. Let's run it about here. Yeah. yeah, they're just going to be able to deliver straight to there. So that actually can go. This road can get all fixed. Let's give ourselves one of these. Okay. Doesn't need to be super duper at the moment. We want country road, please. Straight. Now, by any means, you should now have connection to that. Perfect. So he talks to that. And then we've got that truck stop there to bring into here. Let's put this line in now. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, it's early morning here. I thought I'd get up early and get this one done for you. I've got a big day today. I've got a lot on. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment with um, some very unhappy news. So I apologize uh, in the coming days if I'm going to be a little bit scattered and a little bit sort of here, there and everywhere when it comes to uh, my videos. I do apologize right now, but uh, sometimes you get sad news in life and you just got to deal with it the best you can. So caps lock and we want timber. And we're going to call this little lit, lit what? Lit um, transfer. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it at that and we'll call it truck. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to put... I think we're getting trucks from over this side of town, so that's a bit far away. We might actually establish ourselves a truck uh, depot just over here. If we put a truck depot over here, then they can service a lot of the buildings that are going to come in later on. Put him right there. No, that's, I didn't like that. Put it there. Okay, let's buy those trucks now. Buy trucks. So we've just taken timber, aren't we? Is there a one specifically made for timber? Yep, this one. Nine, and it's a little bit different. The Ford Model 77 truck with side stakes. Give me six to start with. And we're gonna set those on. Timber lit transfer truck. Perfect. Right, so that line's established. They're going to deliver straight to there. Let's get our track in up through here now. I want to delete this out of the way. Because I want to run that train track right through there. Keeping it nice and flat for the moment. And then you're hooking up with this one. How are we looking in terms of... Right, let's go like that. So we need more money. Big tunnel there too, but I'm okay with that. Borrow, 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 borrow. We're going to need a train as well, so we may as well just borrow the lot. Well, that's not a lot, but we'll borrow a, bu a bucket load, put it that way. Now, what I don't like is the way this route actually swivels around like that, but that's okay. It adds a bit of a character. See, it's got a bit of a funny out kink over here. It'll be fine. Okay, and what station are you coming into? Can we run you, switch you up? 
to run you into this one. Please. Okay. That's better. Lovely. We only need the one train on there at the moment. We might even utilize for the moment when the passengers come through from here, we might utilize just running them through this side. Okay, we'll, we'll work that out later. Let's get this route in. This is going to be the tough one over here. Where are we going to set up this hub here? Now, when we bring the timber over, the timber has to then go to here and then get turned into boards. So we could set the freight hub up. We do have a little, we do, oh, we've got a massive hill change here. Let's just check our, uh, let's check our contour map. So you can see how much high up Little Hampton is and even these guys over here compared to where we want to be over here. They're in the green even. Um, so they're much higher up their altitude. Right. Um, buildings, we want this. We just want one. Let's go. Uh, we'll go a through through. Leave it at high speed. No catenary. And we'll leave it at 240. This is going to be tough. I was thinking about bringing the track around this way. But the way the contours are, it makes me think it's going to be a little bit tougher. Uh, and I don't want to truck too far away. So if anything, I want to be above this black line here. This thick black line that I'm on now. Because that is a... That is a uh, Indicating a steeper change in elevation. Right. Um, what if we spin you that way? If we run you like that, it gives us the option to either come and swoop down this way or come around this way. And you're still running fairly decent. Hit the hill. Yeah, okay. Right, let's have a look at our train track now. This is going to be the costly bit. So it is this track in question here. I don't want you running up that steep. There is that road in the way. That's, we also don't want you running up. That's a lot of underground. I'm just wondering if it's worth. Basically just bring it out here. Straight through. Yeah, I think it is, to be honest. By the time you get the track fed around here, you have to come up to go down. We can just keep going at a flat level and then have a slight incline and decline through here, right? Let's get rid of this road for a sec. Yeah, I know. Don't complain to me too much, buddy. This is going to be a steeper hill change. Managing to keep it over 100 though, so that's okay. Yeah, look at the elevation. I can't. Bugger, bugger, that's what I wanted to avoid, but... We're only going to be taking tools back. We, so today, guys, we are going to be running mixed consist. We could... From this elevation. Uh, it, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. I've got to be honest, that actually doesn't look too bad. It's always going to happen, trying to get from a higher point to a lower point, obviously. Okay, we'll take that. Let's hook our, uh, let's hook our road back up here for a sec. Is there a way we can do this without upsetting the track? One way for sure, flatten the area around it. You can see the, you can see the height difference right there. Is there a flatter bit we can get through? Potentially just there. Uh, I only say that because I don't like... So when you build uh, on uneven track, like the track's on a slope, it has a tendency to put a flat spot in the track and the trains go all humpy-bumpy when they come through. We'll take that. Okay. That's woeful. Slightly better, except <laughs> what's going on here, guys? You, you're killing me today. Take you right back. Okay, that's better. 
And then, so that is going to go that way. We're going to have trucks go that way and trucks go that way. We're not going to be worrying about sending the train out that way at the moment. We're just getting this route planted in place and deliveries done. Okay, it's quite a big build, this one, actually. Bigger than what you actually might think. So let's establish a drop-off just here. Perfect. Let's get you connected to there. Lovely. Okay, so these trucks are going to have a bit of a drive. We go down here. Now, this is going to be a drop-off and a pickup. So let's establish ourselves a 30 meter station straight off the bat. Let's give ourselves a bit of um, building sp uh, capacity. We can't put it on that side. Let's put them on this side. Yep, okay. That should give us enough capacity. I just don't want to have the ability to lose uh, lose equipment. We're bringing timber all the way over from there to here. So I want to have a little bit more extra space in case we're producing lots of timber and we're not getting it out in time. Uh, I don't want to be losing too much product is essentially what I'm saying there. Right, so timber will get brought down to here. Then the uh, sawn boards will get sent to here and then they get sent back to there and then we feed Hinkley as well because the train is going to be mixed consist so it's going to come with timber, chugga 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 chugga, drop off timber, pick up some tools, chugga 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 chugga, drop in Little Hampton, uh, and that's it. Why? Oh, I thought we had a kink there. It's just the land. Okay, thank gosh. Right. So we need a truck stop outside the front here. Also, we will leave you. We will do the same here as we just established over there. Just purely based on the fact that I want to have a little bit of extra space. I don't want to be losing tools. I only need a couple there, I think, for this one. Uh, what about here? Well, the train capacity is going to take most of it. 240. We could put another building on there, though. Just to really ramp up how much cargo we can put on here. Yeah, 140 just for that. So 360, 380 that will give us in total, which I'm okay with. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll live with that for a bit. We probably won't produce that many tools off the bat to go to Little Hampton, so not too worried. Uh, later on, if we are, we can always rejig it then. Right, let's get a couple of lines established so we can sort this out. Do we want to set our truck stop over here in Hinkley as well? Yeah, and we're only going to use a truck drop-off. Now, uh, I'll show you a couple of things. This is part of the new update also. Let's establish this. Let's get that road. Let's upgrade these guys. Okay. Apologies, Hinkley, for um, destroying a few buildings. Okay. And then, give me that. All right. So a couple of things to note. Let's go building. This looks like a very industrial part of town. Um, let's put our truck stop right in the middle. Let's put it here. Yep, okay, we'll put it there. Right. When we're setting up this route, I'm going to actually do this. Right now, I'm going to put in a couple of waypoints, and I'll show you why. I want one there. I want one there. And I want um, one here and here. Okay? Now, I'll show you what we're going to do right now. We'll get this line established from... We can actually just send tools from here to Hinkley that way, right? So that's the route that, that that's the route the game's given me. It's telling me it wants to, it wants to travel on the inside, drop off inside inside. All right. Now here's the here's the thing: traffic build up in towns can get quite problematic over time. Let's go this color here. Let's just give it its naming convention. Also tools, uh, and this is going to be Hink delivery. Right, so 
So we know what that is. Come down to our tools, Hink, delivery truck. Okay, so you can see right now that it has selected... Coming into town, it's selected this right-hand lane. If we want to, at Upper Hinkley, we can then add the station. That one. And that one. Did I put one over here? No. Uh, and then after Springfield Road, we can add the station. Mm, where's that waypoint there? Waypoint. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? I just want you to go here. And then there. Right. So sometimes, this is just as an example, the, the game had already set it perfectly, but see how, because we put the waypoints there, it's now doing some kind of weird turnaround because it's on a double road as well. You can actually come over to waypoint five here and I want you to run on lane two. So we'll now switch it back to lane two. So this is purely demonstration. Let's come up to... Um, waypoint six and put you on waypoint two as well right and that fixes that adverse uh conversely we can set waypoint what is it uh two here to be on lane two right so this is the new update you can actually change the lanes that your trucks now come in waypoint three let's set you on two right and now but because we've done that it has to do some kind of weird turnaround just there because Trucks uh, and vehicles find it hard. They have to change lanes before they can turn, all right? So that's part of the new update. We're actually going to get rid of that, that, and that, and that. But I just wanted to show you guys that's what you can actually do. We could actually, we could actually just, coming into town, set you on that one and that one. Let's see what happens if we now put you on two. Right, so you'll change lanes there and put number three and two also. Right, it still does that no matter what because it doesn't like turning right there. Had we have put um, a waypoint here and told it to go back to one, it probably would have worked. Okay, let's just leave you at that. Just for the sake of, of having that work coming into town, and then merging over that way. Let's leave it at that. Okay, but that's that update anyway. You can see how the lane, you can choose the lanes. Now that works for your buses, your trucks, all that sort of stuff, uh, and multiple lanes. Okay, so that's that drop off down. One thing I do want to check is which side are you picking up from? Let's have you pick up from this side over here. So from Upper Hinkley, let's put you on number two. You don't need to be picking up from both sides purely because it's a pickup only not a drop off if it's drop off you can select both sides it'll work a bit better all right next line let's get you in from here to here then you're going to be dropping back to here okay so when you come down to hinkley south hinkley south we are going to let you utilize both hinkley south so you can use number two as well Oops, that's the wrong one. Lower Hinkley, my apologies. We're gonna let you use two. All right, let's also put you on the timber color. Let's give you a naming convention. So timber, and this will be production. Hink, broad, truck. Okay. Let's go down to that truck let's just check our stations here now because we've got these trucks already on that side we're going to leave it as just a one-off there and then once they drop here back at Hinkley South yeah we'll have them so they can drop off wherever they want to drop off yeah okay we'll put that at two as well all right so that is those lines done so tools to Hinkley Timber in, down to there, up to there, and then back to here to pick up more timber. Perfect. Okay. Look at us killing it. 
Now the next one we have to do is put our train line in. So we are going to go from here. Uh, not there yet. To here. And then we're going to go back to this cargo station to drop off tools. There. All right. Now you are also going to be, we'll make you this kind of blue color. Because you are a tools line, your main product will be timber. We could make you brown, but we'll leave you blue because you stand out a fair bit. Okay, and you will be called, we'll call you what you are, T uh, tools, tools mixed, let's, uh, do we want to call it mixed? No, tools, forward slash, uh, backslash, no, forward slash, thanks, timber, pink, delivery, train. Big, big naming uh, convention there. I, I understand that, but we definitely know what it is. It said Hinkley. Uh, sorry, this is Little Hampton. My apologies. This will be a lit to Hink. Yep. Big naming convention, but we get the idea of what it does. Okay, and that's all that needs to happen there. What are we going to do? We're not going to put the passenger route in today. We're going to do that next episode. What we're going to do today is we're going to save this timber mill, this t timber forestry, uh, and I need to establish a train depot somewhere. Let's just put one over here. Well, that's a bit of fun then, isn't it? Yeah, we can do some kind of fun little train around thing, okay? We also need to buy vehicles for all of those things now as well. You know that, Ham. I am aware of that situation. Thank you for bringing that up with me. Yep, perfect. Lovely. Okay, nice little sort of weird slip on there. We don't, we don't actually need it to be like that, Ham. Yeah, that's doing my head in. Just make it come straight around, buddy. That's better. <laughs> My bad. Okay, uh, we need to borrow some more money again. But first, let's get... No, you guys are all right. Let's get some trucks sent over here. We need a truck stop built down here. Ah, we're not finished yet, guys. Ooh, can I squeeze one in here? That'd be nice, if I could. No, you can't. That's a bugger. What about here? No. I like to put all the buildings together to make it look like it's like an actual place. Don't cover that in case you need it. Don't put one there in case you need to expand that. Oh, you're a party pooper. What are you? Party pooper. Uh, freeway. Uh, sorry, country road. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's lovely. Right, trucks, buy vehicles. We don't have a lot of money on this. We need to borrow more money. Borrow, 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 borrow. Let's borrow max chickens because we're going to need to buy a train also. Okay. Buy vehicles. So we want to run a mix. We want to run the nine all cargoes because this is only eight all cargoes. This does do 40 clicks though. That only does 30. Don't care. These are going to be bought. We're going to run 10 of these. Are we? No, eight to start with. Let's get this line established with eight. And they are going to be timber hink production. Right? So they they have the ability to take timber and uh, bring tools back to here also. Beauty. Beauty, beauty. Okay. These guys here, we are actually going to run, I think. We're going to run these ones here. Yeah, they can't take tools, but they do 40 clicks. We'll run four of these into town. Okay, let's just check those. They've got four vehicles. They've got uh, eight vehicles. Beauty. I want to make sure that our line is working properly. Yep. 
all the vehicles are heading to where they're supposed to be. Perfect. That just leaves the train. And we've got 9 million to play with. <sighs> you beauty. Licking his lips. Right, mix consist. We're going to run the alcohol again, guys. We are going to do it. We're going to run a nice sort of darkish, bluey color on this one. I already knew what color I wanted to run it because I was excited to test this color out on this train. Cargo wise, we need box cars to bring tools back. Do we have a better box car? We do. Let's get rid of that color. Let's say we want to bring ooh, a capacity of that many. 36. Yeah, okay. 36. Now, steak cars. This one is 12 ton and it takes 12. And it takes what we want. Okay? That's important. This one is 20 ton at 12. This car is 8 at 10 ton. And that's the best we got. We're taking the flat car with side stakes. I think it's what? Loading speed might be a touch lower, is it? Nope. We're definitely taking this. Right, add. What's that? 12, 24, 36, 48. Can't afford that. We can afford that though. Right, we'll take what we can afford to start with and that is on the tools timber lit hink delivery train. Oh, and we are ready to press play. Let's see if we've saved our little timber mill here. Saved! Just like that, it's saved. And we've already got even timber building up on the platform. Oh, that's even better. All right. So, yes, ladies and gents, that is that route in today. Going from here through town and down into there. These are our freight hubs um, in this section and this section now. Cool to know. Christchurch, we'll get to you at some point, buddy. Next time out, we've got to um, hook up Tick Hill. Tick, not thick. <laughs> I apologize for that again. What's going on here? Oh, that's just that station uh, disappearing. Let's ride our train out, shall we? Let's go it two times. I've been Van Ham, guys. Thanks for joining me today. This was actually a longer episode than I thought for this build, but I'm glad we got it done. the horn stay safe wherever you are stay glued to your screen leave a like comment subscribe and hit the bell notification for more content definitely hit that guys there's plenty of content flowing out at the moment farming simulator will be back i, I apologize if anyone's waiting for that it's supposed to be this episode today but uh you know i with time constraints and with a lot of stuff going on it's quicker for me to put out an episode of transport fever it's about a six hour turnaround to make a farming sim video by the time i record and edit that and then get it up on the line Whereas this, a little bit quicker, uh, but still as enjoyable because I love, I friggin' love this game. All right, guys, that's it. Look after each other. Please look after each other wherever you are. Uh, as I said, stay safe. Stay glued to your screen. Let's enjoy this one. And enjoy this ride out.